Yo, what's going on guys? And I just want to I just feel like I saw this all over Twitter and it was it was kind of annoying, okay? You know, like when you're watching NBA daily, you, you look at Twitter, okay? Cuz you're bouncing between games and all that. And obviously I'm watching Kate Cunningham's second career NBA game. I want to preface this, second career NBA game. And there's a bunch of people out there just saying heinous and egregious things about this man who you know isn't even what he's like 20 years old not even okay and they're calling him a bust after his second game coming off of an injury okay coming off of an ankle injury if anyone's had an ankle injury okay and he's looking physically in you know athletically great okay defensively oh my god never stop moving switching i saw him go up against bobby portis knock the ball out of bobby portis make bobby portis miss he was guarding george hill make george hill miss contested the shots well switched to patty pat connington did well okay and i know like there's still things like you know he had turnovers he had like two turnovers i understand like they they weren't the best and i mean he still had a few good passes out there he had a really good floater where he grabbed the rebound went coast to coast past pat connington and hit a floater okay from a little bit past the free throw line up going down the right side and like i just think look even on offense offense and defense when k cunningham doesn't i mean on defense he never had the ball but when k cunningham doesn't have the ball he's always moving okay always running around cutting slashing even sometimes sending picks for his fellow teammates granted i saw kelly and hayes maybe it could be because that's his role just to stand in the corner and catch and shoot but i still saw kelly and hayes standing in the corner not really moving doing anything to get himself open or one of his teammates open when kate cunningham is off ball he is great off ball motion always trying to get his teammates open always trying to do stuff i understand he hasn't been affected two of 14 he shot jacked up nine th threes okay if any of you have stopped doing something for a month, you're going to come back to it and not be as good as you were when you were doing every day before you took that month break, okay? I want to hear your thoughts down below. Am I overreacting saying that anybody who says that Kate Cunningham is a bust after two games is a NBA casual fan? I want to hear those thoughts down below. Do you guys agree with me? Kate Cunningham is not a bust after two games, okay? Kate Cunningham is not a bust. And I think he's really been good. And he's been fun to watch. I know there's been moments where he hasn't been amazing. And there's been some errors. Okay, that, there's an adjustment. I mean, he was playing at Oklahoma State. Granted, I, I saw him live, okay, when he came and played KU. And he's still a very good player. And I think what people need to understand is there's an adjustment. I think shooting is probably one of the biggest things i don't know if they did anything with this form and i don't think so and with an ankle injury that's you setting your feet and all that that's just all your form goes down from your feet and your ankles to everything so if you think about it his rebound passing and defense have all been good the only thing is the shot and the shot will fall once you start to feel it and you see it start to fall it's going to fall and i don't know why people are over here acting like kate cunningham is this bus and juxtaposing it after only two games okay two games and i i just think it's rude if anything okay you're talking about a guy who if anything yes i know he's missed his first 14 three-pointers he's he's only made three out of his 22 first field goals but you know what he's gone out there he's grabbed nine rebounds total okay in his two games he's gone five assists total and he's he's got a block and he's played amazing defense amazing defense i will never stop preaching how good defensively he was in this game he didn't steal as many of his teammates rebounds he really didn't steal any of his teammates rebound i know a lot of people said like last game he stole a few of his teammates rebounds but i think this time he was he backed off a little bit i just want to stop seeing the slander that k cunningham is a bust after two games two games you're, you're telling me that what like lamella ball i think lamella ball scored what zero points three points i don't he didn't have a great debut there's plenty of great nba players who didn't have an excellent debut okay i mean look anthony edwards did not look that great for most of this like first half of last season 
And then he literally went God mode and should have won the Rookie of the Year award with his second half performance averaging like 24 points a game, seven rebounds, like three, four assists, and like two steals a game and almost like a block and a half game. It was absurd. But that's what I'm saying. It's like people out here are like acting like Kate Cunningham is a bust when that's not true. Kate Cunningham is good, okay? And I don't know if Dwayne Casey's the best coach. What do you guys think about Dwayne Casey? This team's really good at switching. They switch everything. But in theory, I don't know if you would stand here and be like, he's a good coach. I want to hear your thoughts.